Oh boy. Sorry, I was checking something. It's Zelda time, baby. I was about to go do some main story, but then... <laughs> Target spotted. You know why I ain't leaving you there. Woohoo! Or that over there. Ah! I blinded myself! Go dispel this pin. Well, somewhere in that direction, there is another shrine. Mega Mind. Mega Mind. Oh, no, I don't think you can hear me. Oh, my God, they're having a party. They're like head banging over there. So I intend to do story today, but obviously I'm easily distracted. <laughs> so you know what? I'm going to... Pins where I know that there are That's not a light route But pins where I know that there are light routes Alright, so obviously the ones in the sky do not count Vice versa, where I know there are shrines, I will put light root markers. This way I'll have definite places to visit later. Get off of that. Vaguely in that direction. <laughs> I gave up a shrine here. I did. Ta da! All right. Fine. I'll do the actual story. What adventure am I doing? Regional Phenomena, I believe. Which wanted us to go to Hebra. So? Torito Village it is. I'm gonna to need to put pants on. Haha, <laughs> Link has no pants. One second, I just realized that it's a little quieter for you guys than normal. There you go. What's the big deal, Link? Get over it. It's not that cold. I love that distant. Ooh, give me this. Opal, sick.
Oh my god, the domain is actually frozen. Domain the village, rather. This isn't Zora's domain. This is Rito Village, and it's actually like frozen frozen. It's ice. Hello? Oh, hi. Ah, I see. Easy Korok, baby. Get in my pocket. I don't see any shrines from here, do I? No. Well, hello. Is anybody there? I'm looking for birds. I can break this. I made water. I'm gonna do it again. There you go. Enjoy. Get out of there. Five arrows. Sick. that'd be colder than it is <gasps> Ooh, acorns <laughs> or pine cones rather what do we have in here oh popped my neck is anybody home There's normally more Rito than this rusty halberd. One second, my ear itches. Hello? Bird? They want to say hello. Well, you're not a bird. Oop. Do I have... What is this? Oh, a sage's will. I don't remember where I got that, but I remember getting it. Oh, hey. We're going to practice. All right. Set. Let's sing. Are you going to sing? Ah. How are things going, mister? Ah. About to practice our song. It's called the Song of the Stormwind Dark. Oh my god. we sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Huh? Wanna listen to our song? Yes. Ah. Yeah, we love an audience, so we'll give our best for you. Everyone ready? A one, and a two, and... Once a god fell from heaven, style stilling the Hebrew winds. The heavens grew lifeless, just as the air below thinned. A world in upheaval. We've pledged to help the Lord. Line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. So there's a boat. Oh. You know, this song is about the ark that saved Rito Village a long, long time ago. In a galaxy far away. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Oh. Hey, that's Stormwind Dark. Is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. Oh. It definitely is. Papa told me it's always watching over us high in the sky. Oh. We could sure use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Well, if we don't have the Ark, we don't have the adults. It's up to us kids to take care of the village. Practice is over for today. Yinli, you're in charge of food. And Molly, you'll need to make arrows. Yeah! We've all got jobs to do, so let's do them. Hey! Yeah! Hi! Kid power! Kids next door. 
Well, there they go. <clears throat> K and B. Number one, number two, number three. <sighs> oh, no, I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. Eep, a customer who's sleeping. I wasn't sleeping, not me. Welcome to the Swallow's Roost Inn. We don't have any guests at the moment, so rest very easy and rest well. Regular bed is 20 rupee, and a Rito down, sift, silky soft Rito down bed is 50 rupees. Silky soft. Silky soft Rito down bed is made with lots of Rito feathers. It's soft and fluffy and gives the, fluffy and gives the best of sleeps ever. You can only sleep in one bed here at the Swallow's Roost. Make it that one. As my head hits the pillow, it's like someone threw a blanket over me. Not, not, not that I ever use the beds. When you wake up again, you'll be full of energy and ready to go. I want to go to bed in real life. Okay, come again when you want to use one of our comfy beds. So you're in charge of the inn, I see. So the adults are all gone? I guess this is... The, the baby Rito village. Hello, you were supposed to cook food? Full tummies make for happy Rito. That's what I like learning. New meals out of the recipe book. So I went in there that I know everyone would love. The fish pie made with Staminoka bass. Doesn't that sound yummy? Problem is, I can't leave the village to catch a Staminoka bass thanks to this dumb blizzard. I have everything else. Tabantha wheat, goat butter, rock salt. But if I'm going to make a fish pie, I need the fish. I need Staminoka bass. All okay. right. <laughs> I know that smell. You have stamina a bass, don't you, mister? Is that for me? Here you go. Have a fish. Really? Thanks. Why am I glowing? Well, there's like energy coming out the end of the... Oh, it's because it's the, the Zonite sword. Now I can cook something that'll make the whole village feel better. Okay, mister, hold out your hand. Ooh, biting simmered fruit. Cold weather attack. Nice. You can eat this to boost your strength up in cold places like in the Heber Mountains. Won't fill your belly, but if you're roaming outside the village, I'm sure you'll find it useful. You know, cooking with ice fruit is pretty easy. You should try it whenever you need a boost. I love learning to cook. I'm going to cook stuff that's so tasty, it'll make, it makes everyone in the whole village smile. Oh my god, butter. Hooray, a customer! Give the Slippery Falcon... Welcome to the Slippery Falcon General Store. Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. So, uh, what can I do for you? Buy my things. Hi. What do I want to sell you? I have a lot of these. I have a lot of amber. I will sell you 19 of them. Sell you a single luminous stone. And 15 flint. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 19 sundalions. <laughs> and now I have a little bit of money. Or our shelves are kind of empty. It's because of all the heavy snowstorms. If you need food like fish or mushrooms, you can try poking around in the caves outside of town. There's a bunch of caves along the road to the east, and even more of them in Heber Mountains. I know I've been there. I got stuck in one for like 20 minutes. It was crazy. Raisin Beak, we've got you covered. Oh, this is a clothing store. La la la. Hi hi, thanks for coming in, even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, but it's even colder on the top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Lucky for you, for you we sell warm clothes. Brings you to the shop today. Are you leaving, mister? Let me give you a neat tip first. People are finding more caves all the time on the road east of here and on the way up the Heber Mountains. Caves are nice because they're warm. You can hide out there from the cold if you don't have our outfits. Plus, you can find shiny ores inside the sparkly rocks sometimes. Pay a lot for those ores, and so will the folks at the general store, so keep an eagle eye out for them. You got it. How much are the clo- Oh. I need 
Well, I need more money, huh? Guess I'm selling all my ores. What a bargain! Oh my god, I need so much. I will not be selling the diamond. That's a 25 fuse power item. I do have to sell all of the amber, though. Oh my god. All my things, dude. Yeah, 420. Nice. I wanted to sell all of them. And all my salt. And all my flint. Uh, all my things are gone, man. Refusing aside, dug inside a cave. There's plenty of caves along the road east to here and on the way up to Heaver Mountains. Yep. Time to buy your clothes. Snow quill held headdress, a Rito accessory made from snowbird feathers. It's adorned with a ruby, a gem like, a gem that harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates more tolerable. It's a whole bunch. Yeah. Snow quill tunic. Lined with molted Rito feathers, this tunic was made by Rito artisans for Hylians visiting cold climates. Feathers are stacked in each leather to retain body heat. Look pretty good at that, I know. Snow quill trousers. The most expensive bit is the pants. The Rito sell these trousers to Hylians in Rito Village. The inside is lined with Rito feathers. Alright, cool. Now we're like super warm. Awesome! Oh, there goes Ginley. Another day in the kitchen. All right, bye. I don't remember all these little windmills everywhere, but I assume they were always here. Hee hee hee. I'm not committing vandalism. You're committing vandalism. I actually wonder, is the elder here? Now that I think about it. It's like the adults are all gone, but I don't see that guy going anywhere. It'll freeze them solid. Ah. Mm, how about this one? Huh? Oh, you need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. Oh. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid. Ah. Gives me an amazing idea for an invention. Mwaha. My problem is I can't go outside to pick fruit right now. What with the blizzard and all. Mm. Uh, it's so not fair. It's the best invention I've come up with in so long. But without ice fruit, I can't make it. I have plenty of that. Huh? Mister, I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. You want some fruit? Yeah. Huh? Mister, what's that you got? That's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Well, it looks like you've also got some cold jelly-like stuff. It's a white choo-choo jelly from one of the creatures that'll freeze you solid if you touch it. <gasps> wow, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. May I have one of either the ice fruit or the white choo-choo jelly? You wanted the fruit, so you get the fruit. <laughs> now I can finally make my invention! <laughs> When I attach this to the tip of the arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. Wonder what would happen with other materials. You can make arrows with all sorts of effects. Ah. Um, wow, listen to me. With every breath, I spew out brilliance. <sighs> uh, but I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's a thank you present. Oh, Pog. You know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, get my name out there, and one day, I'll be a world famous, world famous arrow maker. One my papa can be proud of. I'm stealing your arrows. Ah, those are mine, mister. Hold on, is your problem that you don't have enough wooden arrows? 
It's important to help each other in times of need. That's what my papa says. So if you want them, they're yours. That actually made me feel bad. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Later. Oh, hey. That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village... Hello, what up? It is you! Link! Hi, Tulin, the young Rita warrior. Mm. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Teba, the new Rito elder. Ah. Rest in peace, owl guy. It's very nice to see you again. Hmm. You remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. Hmm. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Uh. Well, you think I can? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You can all keep wasting your time treating the song of the storm wind dark like it's real, but not me. Listen, you. Unbelievable. Doolin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard and he's having trouble hearing no. He mentioned a song? It's an old folk song. This house keeps making sounds and it's freaking me out. It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims a song that's been passed down through generations. I've heard the song. It was a very nice song. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Still adults, few adults still pair it as if it were true. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then you get reports of a, among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval and it seems less far-fetched. Haha, <laughs> Pokemon. Even if the song of the Stormwind Dark is just a children's rhyme, I suspe suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I need- I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth, but Tulin. He thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? I'm here to help! What? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow... Hmm... We Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. This abnormal blizzard shows no signs of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. I wish there was something I could do. Ah, hmm. oh, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so you might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. See the tomb bonfires out that way? I thought that's where Tulin was going. He's in the lodge near there if you'd like to try visiting him. Okay. I will continue to ascend. See you later, Teba. Tulin's profile. 
Tulin, young Rito warrior, the son of the Rito elder, Teba. When Link first visited his village, Tulin was still a child growing up in his father's shadow, and his eyes would light up when he watched Link and Teba practice at the flight range. Teba, the new eld El Rito elder, a Rito warrior who once helped Link save Rito village. He took up the mantle of village elder from Kanelli to become the new leader of his people. As the new leader, he is under pressure to deal with the strange weather assailing Rito village. Rest in peace, Canelli. You were a pretty cool owl guy. I miss you already, Owlman. Well, anyway. No time to be sad. Only time for flight. Yeehaw! Who needs horses? We're in the mountains, baby. It's all flying time here. Oh my god, it's a whiz robe. It's been so long since I've seen one, I almost forgot they were in the game. <laughs> and by that I mean, I haven't seen one at all this entire time. About to ruin his day though. Ha! I missed. Come on. Ha! Gotcha. <laughs> First try, baby. Sapphire sword. Kind of won everything I have. It's literally just a sapphire attached to a sword. I don't know if I really want that. Not over anything I have, at least. Constructs? Are they about to fight? It's a bunch of constructs and bacoblins staring each other down. I guess I'll help. Catch! Catch again! <laughs> that would have been better. Hey, a roasted wire of wild berry. Because I blew it up. And a roasted tree nut. Nice. Yeehaw! What up? I'm here to. Oh my god! One of them's got a goofy sword. Constructs! Back me! Back me up! Fight each other! For my amusement! What's with all these rocks? Who hit me? Eat rock! Eat rock! Who's throwing rocks at me? Do you have better things to do? Soldier Construct 2 Horn. A sharp hooked horn dropped from a Soldier Construct 2. Lovely. A flame emitter shield. A soldier shield. I'll be honest, I need more shields. A feathered edge, a double edged Rito sword.
See, that worked out in my benefit. Hmm. Get fanged. Ah! Soldier 2 Reaper. It's weaker than this, but it might be better than something else. Nah. Right, give me your stuff. Um, let me eat some of those rust roasted nuts I acquired. Delicious. Gotta love roasted nuts. Is that a flame emitter? Just hanging out? I acquire. Yeah! I was kind of hoping when I picked it up, it would start just spitting flames out. That would have been hilarious. All right, well, I solved that problem, I suppose. Is that Addison? Bro. <laughs> Get some warm clothes on, nerd. You have my support. Can I just fit this under here? All right, so these will fit underneath. And that being the case, you. Sit right there. You can sit right on top. This will be our support. There you go. Let go, Addison. Let him go. There you go. See? He's standing. How's the president standing? That's brilliant. Let me get it secured. Perfect. Uh, take this. 20 rubies. Of course, of course. Give me a cold weather attack. Food. Very cool. And a bomb flower. Thank you very much, Addison. I will see you later, Mr. Sign Guy Man. Hey, are you the you the dude I was supposed to talk to? That works as a landmark. Neck. Hey there. You here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy sky view tower. Oh, I've been up there already. Won't warn you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat it for the size and sheer brightness. Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Sheikah Tech is pretty cool. Hello, what's inside this cloud? A little pinch of this. I'm stealing your things. Yoinkers. Oil jar. A mild oil extracted from plant seeds. Versatile in cooking. Can coax flavors from ingredients used in many dishes. Also good for adding fuel to a fire. Who are you? Uh? Amali. I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. <laughs> for example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so you don't notice the cold so much. 
We do not have many of them here, but you're welcome to what's available. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. I've already stolen them all. Oh my god. You look so cool. Hearth. Link, you're alright. I was worried after I'd heard you'd gone missing. What happened? I died. Again. Oh, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Her feathers are full dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. Wish I could do more for you. Though, now that I think of it, maybe Tullin could help. <laughs> oh, right. You weren't around for it, but... Little Tullin has developed a way, to w way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. His wind gust technique is someone, something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Teba acknowledges that Tullin's skill is a cut above. Hmm. The kid does preen about more than it should. Preen about it more than he should, but... Well, it's worth asking him, at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gisane and Lysa on a trip for to find Vibdid food. Gisane and Lysa. I know them! I think they were on their way to Hebra Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. Cave is past a cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. I know Gisane. Ah. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to finding Tullin. Wait, I think I've... I've been in that cave. Oh. Oh. I was protecting the village where the children are so I can keep things going here. Whether it's figuring out the source of this weird weather or scrounging food day and night, everyone's pitching in. I don't feel like you're intruding, bud. If there's anything you want to know, you can ask me. What you doing? Uh. Other than making sure everyone is fed? Mostly we investigate what the deal is with this blizzard. This island-looking thing appeared in the sky along with the blizzard. It's been raining down junk on us ever since. Uh. Not only that, we have to deal with these packs of flying monsters. I've never seen anything like them. Most of us are forced on che focused on checking out the mountains themselves, but some are looking into Rito legends and fables. We're casting a wide net with this one. Anything that might be related is fair game. You never know where the clue that breaks the whole thing wide open will be found, after all. I wouldn't rule anything out as long as there's a chance. I already know where Tillin is. Have you learned? I don't think he knows anything. Tend to follow Tillin in this kind of weather. Be prepared before you head out. Okay, bye-bye. Hearth has no leads on the Z Princess Zelda either. He suggested you speak to Tullin, who has been scouting the skies since the fierce blizzard began. Hearth said that Tullin, Tullin went to Heber South Summit Cave along with Gisane and Lysa. Its entrance is marked with another bonfire. And this is somewhere that I've been. Because uh, we ran into Gisane... I believe, before, if at the chili mushroom cave. So my guess is that huge cave that I got in is where, um, T Tolan is supposed, is where Tolan was supposed to be. Yeah, here. Oh wait, no, this is a different cave. Why, hello. Unbelievable. Mm. Oh, you're different. You're Sicily. This isn't a cave. Unbelievable that these huge things are raining down on us. What is happening up there in the skies? <laughs> hmm? Oh, oops. I hadn't expected to meet a Hylian here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Mm. Don't you know? see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep out the worst of it, but I'm not sure you can stand the blizzard. Oh. If you go farther up the slope, you'll see the Hebrew South Summit Cave. My friends are up there now gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. They keep a bonfire stoked at the cave entrance to mark their location. If the cold gets too much for you, find that bonfire and warm yourself up in that cave. 
Okay. Yeah, this is the cave, the big cave. See, it's already marked on my map. I've already been there. But that's okay. Yeah, I missed. Yeah. Ice key, key swing, a rare ice key swing. Won't let its pretty frozen surface fool you. It blasts out a dangerous freezing fog when stimulated. And an ice key's eyeball imbued with freezing power. And homing arrow. None of that. Ooh, so much ice fruit. Oh, why, hello there. Die. I don't need to, but I'm totally going to kill these guys. <laughs> oh my god! I've been blasted! <laughs> Alright, buddy. If that's how you want to play... Get styled on, nerd. I was not expecting the Gmod <laughs> ragdoll down the cliff. Man hit me with a zero stamina Skyrim attack. Yeesh. Well, anyway, where is this cave? I believe, yeah, it's just right over here. So note to future self, blue coblins in this area have feathered edges, which is extremely dangerous for you, don't it? <gasps> oh my god, that fe that flag just gave me a heart attack. I thought the flag coming into view was the ice gliok that I know is hanging around here, and I was about to have a heart attack. <sighs> uh. <laughs> Hello. This is a good haul. Didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon, what with the blizzard and all. I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? This is a good place to find food for your people. Looking for Tulin, huh? Fair enough. He's farther in this cave with Gassane. They're scavenging for food. I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Ah. Be on your guard. There's a creature in this cave that hops around on the walls. Probably won't bother if you stay away from you. If you probably it probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tolan. Is the bubble frog? I love the bubble frog. Hello, Tolan Gesein. Where are you at? Yeehaw! Have I not been in this side? Hmm. I thought I went this way, but apparently not. Well, either way. Oh, I did go this way. How did I miss all that stuff then? Come here. Wait, I wonder. No, you cannot just grab fish. Disappointed. I can climb over here though. Climbing gear on. Oh. 
I got this. I totally got this. Stamina break. Let's go. These two extra stamina bars are really going to come in handy. Link climbing noises are the best. No other paths. Oh, there's over there. Well, we'll go investigate this way first. Helen, Gesane. Hello. Are you out here? Give me that. Give me that. Here's Gesane. Not Tellen. I guess I haven't en encountered you before. I thought I did. What are we going to do with that boy? Just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Hmm? Oh. Well, I'll be. What is a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? Hmm. You here to talk to Tillin, huh? Well, you just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past the outside the cave. Same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. Hmm. Told the others we should return right away to report them. But Tullin wasn't, clearly wasn't listening at all. Said I'm going to follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. We leave the cave and head north. You can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tullin followed them here. Why am I so moist? I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Why is Link always so drippy? The one on Talanto Peak. There's just a mountain... Like, with a tree on it. Is that what he means? Yeah, a mountain with just a tree on it. Yeah, I ain't gonna bother them. Psych. I'm going to bother them. <laughs> Shoot me, dork. Should have shot better. Yeah, I've been up here, see? That was a, um, oh, a swallow bow. Favored among Rito warriors. The bowstring has been specifically engineered for aerial combat. Allows it to be drawn faster than a normal bow. Hog. But there's a... <clears throat> a Hudson sign over there. How does Addison get to these places? And why? Like, building them along the road, that makes sense, but... Here? Putting on my climbing clothes. <laughs> Gotta be advertising to groundhogs out here. Not that you'll find any of them, they all went home. Because they couldn't find their shadow. That's a boss goblin. A boss blin. Let's not fight him. Yeah. My neck itchy. I guess we're climbing all the way to the top. Wow. I've already sung this song every time that I have said gotta go to the top. I should probably find something else to say. I don't know if I want to thaw that. 
I don't know about that one. I'm gonna leave that where it is. Oh, geez, look at that tower. Or island. Islands are not towers. Blind Link. Yeesh, that is intimidating. Alan. Alan, where are you? Hey, there you are. Should have kept my guard up. Stupid monster. What? Link, where did you come from? What happened? Oh, uh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. Owned. See, that's the bow napper. Uh. Gotta get it back. Help me out, Link. You got it. Oh. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can feel a strong gust of wind? Blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like. Do it for you too. That we can glide over to where that monster went. Uh -huh. Tell me where the point to gust, and I'll make it for you. Tullin's power of wind. When Tullin's aura is charged, you can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. So it's like a sideways Rivali's gale? Sick. Well, let's go. Gust! Oh my god, he's on our side. He's hanging out! Down the street! All right. Yeah. <laughs> Got to jump off the side and be super cool in order to get in order to get the good shot. Ha! Oh. There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. We seem to have met. Oh, uh, there's more of them. We made the Aracudas mad because <laughs> we killed one. All right, they're not going to make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. All right. Ow. This is a falcon bow. A highly refined Rito made bow created by a master cra Rito craftsman. Rito favor warrior did. Rito warriors favor it for its superior rate of fire. All oh, my bows are decent. Taking this as well. Get back here! Well, that was easy. Thanks for helping, Tullin. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> hey, look. I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Uh oh. Uh. Huh? Hmm? Was that the wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. It must have been the wind. Hey, Tillin, Link! Who are you? Huh? Oh. Oh! oh. That was so impressive teamwork, you do. Oh, you saw that, Harth? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Gassane tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. Thought it was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Hmm. I bet you see... Now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. Uh -huh. You were right. It really is important to work as a flock. Ha 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 ha. I think we finally get what Dad was trying to tell me all this time. Is that all there is to the story? Seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tullin. Huh. Oh yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. Spotted her getting attacked by a monster. 
such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. I guess she was fine because she zoomed up above that cloud. Uh -huh. What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Mm, it seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Oh. Tell and Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. Should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. Huh? But I thought it wasn't allowed. Oh. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. The blizzard is coming from inside the cloud. <sighs> I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but... There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. Uh. I'm talking about you, Tullin, in case the, in case the implication was lost. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tullin will be the finest Rita warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Ah. You know who said that to me? Your old man, Teba. Huh. Dad said that. Oh. Yep, and I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time you go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. <laughs> no problem. The two of us together have got this. Saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near here, near here, but be, be, be. Let's check there first. Oh. Link, Tolan, we're counting on you. All right. Let's go. New friend. Let's go get into the storm where apparently Zelda is or the. The Zelda that has been hanging out down the street. The same old thing that we did last week. But it's possibly not Zelda. Probably the Zelda thing that's been reading the... The Blood Moon dialogue and the one that was hanging out at the castle. A Zonite sword. I don't want that. This way, Tolan. Yeah, yeah. Do I have to get to the summit of the mountain, I believe it said? Helen's recent ordeal has taught him a valuable lesson about working together. Even Hearth can see that the young Rito has matured. Go with Tullin to the Sky Islands above Heber Peak. He claims he saw Princess Zelda. Yeah, we can get into the Sky Islands up here at the peak. I think it wants me to go around like that. All right. Link? What is wrong with you? I tried two separate times to jump and pull the glider and you failed both. Try this again, okay? There you go. All right, that is actually a very useful ability. Thank you very much, buddy. Look at him just hanging out. He's our friend. It's actually very cool that you get a companion now. I'm assuming that there is a companion at each area. Man, this game is cool. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Not everyone can flap their arms like that. Just kind of hover. Man. Eat. So the Rito do have fingers on their wings. Is a little weird. Oh, 
Barracuda. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oop. Hey, I got him. Sick. I'm not chasing their parts. Know what I am doing? Is a bit of marking that for later. Sick. All right. Oh, hey. Looks like from here we can get into the islands. What's up? Huck, if only it was possible to find out what's inside this blizzard. Oh? oh? Why, if it isn't Tullin, I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. But if you've come here, that means... Oh. Yep, they said I could go up there. Oh. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. You may be the only Rito capable of rising above that cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give you your best shot. I'll be waiting, watching for your return. Uh -huh. Thanks. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. Let's go, Birdman. Yeah. yeah! What are these rocks? I can grab these and these are total rock right not breakable all right so we just have to these are of a different type this isn't zonai it doesn't look like see this isn't zonai design Interesting. You think this is like ancient Rito? Because this is definitely not Zonai. At least not... Not the way that Zonai architecture has been looking. Oh, just missed it. We can totally make that. I can totally make that. This is the highest. Yeah, yeah. Good going, buddy. God, I'm good. Look at me go. I don't think I have the stamina to continue. Uh-oh. Oh no. Can I stand on this? Sort of. Get back up here. Man. Let's 
Hit that speed up. Yeehaw! Look at me go! I got these fast hands. Alright. Got for stamina? Nailed it. Let's go. Dun 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 Maybe there's something on the other side here that I'm missing. I don't actually see how I'm supposed to get up here. I ain't taking damage again. Can't make me. What in the world? I'm using my brain Which is a dangerous prospect to be sure I I'm an idiot. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Ah. Ah. This is what a send is for, dingus. Hello, Tullin. Oh, hey, it's a boat. It's a boat. Hey. Link. It was around here that I saw Princess Zelda. Hmm. And now I don't know where she could have gone. Oh. Hmm? What is that? What is that thing? It's a boat, so this is definitely Rito in origin. Look at that. It's a boat. Oh. Huh? Come. You see, you got it. Come. To oh. Me. Oh. Hello? Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? Oh my god. Whoa. Do you see that thing inside the cloud? That's gotta be the store mark. Is that another boat? But it's huge! There's tons of those little flying boats too. You know what that reminds me of? Hmm. A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The gods ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. This whole thing is just like the song of the Stormwind Dark. Oh. Was the children's song true after all? You're that strange voice too, right, Link? I'm, her I I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. Ah. It's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship? Well, nowhere to go but up. Come on. All right. Though you didn't find Princess Zelda where Tolan said she'd be, you heard a disembodied voice say, come to me. Nice. Inside the cloud, you discovered a great ship. 
which looks like, just like the one from the Song of the Storm When Dark. This is mysterious voice guiding Tullin into the cloud. Come to me. It wants us to get on the boat, but I will not get on the boat. I will, in fact, do a dumb. I'm getting into the shrine, in fact. I'm getting to the bottom of this, literally. Up we go. What up, shrine? The Mayaumekis Shrine. Let's go! So there is a huge boat. And I love that. Downward force. Oh my god. Well, open up. Another boat. Fancy meeting you here. Oh my god, more boats. What if I ascend? Oh. Yeah. Dork. That's too far to ascend. Well, well, well. I see you're training me for the shri for what I'm about to have to do. Hold. Looking around. I need to do something up here. I'm going for it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Damn it. Booty, come back. I see. Yeah. I thought it was cool. Your time is now. Deedle 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 deedle. I can totally make it. I can do this. I can do this. I've got this. I've got this. This is fine. Link, how could you? Boing? I've got this. I've totally got this. This is fine. Link, how could you? All right, come here, boat. You and I need to have a little talk. Yeehaw! So you can jump on the top and it'll fling you up. Ten arrows, actually worth it. Arrows are super important. And way more valuable than you'd think. Yeah, you can stand on this and it won't do anything. But if you fall, go whoop. And I go whoop. Well, hello there. 
there anything in here? No. Yeah. Whap! My arrow! Welcome back. <laughs> Leave no man behind. All right, sick. Uh, now we can teleport back up here. You know what that means? It means I don't have a whole lot of time left for stream. So I'm not going to make more progress because I'm not going to get anywhere in five minutes. So instead, I'm going to go jump down and get that tower. All the way over there. You ready? To do it again, Tullin? I've totally got the stamina for this. Hello, hello, Pidika Stone Grove Skyview Tower. I'm here to map out. Let's go. Blonde out. Bumbara. Give me the map. Give me the map. Sick. Oh my god, the There's like a huge thing where the where the Tiflo ruins were Tiflo, whatever. Like a huge gloom thing underneath it. I'm seeing something shining over here, I think. Let's go! Something was shining at me over here. Some zonite. That's pretty pog. Those are not zonite, that's batteries. Little Cephalina. Alright. We're about to get a boat. We're going to become sky pirates. Are you ready? It's going to be the goofiest shit. It's going to be so fun. Zonai sky pirates. Oh, that's too close. Set it over here or something. He's just got to be on there to give me a little bit of extra battery life. Let's like set him over here. Now we can sail. Actually, is there something up here?
Negative. All right, sick. Oop. There we go. Time to go. Yeehaw. Oh my god. Bonk. Give me that. You're causing a problem. Something else shooting at me? <laughs> nice try, dork. Arc your shots. Like that. A little not enough. <laughs> I don't think I can hit that guy. We seem to have a acquired a bit of a stowaway. Turn. Make a wide turn. Oh my god. Zelda Sky Pirates. Let's go. Turn up. Turn to the right. Oof. All right, that's fine. Come with me, boat. Oops. Ah, sick. <laughs> Everything respawned. I don't need more fans. I need more batteries. Come here, Dylan. You not want to get on here? All right. See you later. Doesn't look like there's anything on that island. What up, jerk? Dylan? Oh, hey, there you are. Again, I've got all this to explore. Skirt. Try and catch me. Sick. Welcome to the rusty sword zone. Give me that. That's a, that's a shrine right there. Yeah, you show them. The tie. Oh, I've got to do a thing here. The Tonanode Shrine. I've got to find a crystal, I bet. Take the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the, sh at the shrine. There to there. Do so, and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Okay. Oh, jeez. It's all the way over there. All right, boat. You and me, baby. Woo! Actually, what's over here first? Also a shrine all the way over there. Get some Zonite charges. Give me your goods. 
Give me something neat. Something new, maybe. A cart! Zone I device built to move efficiently over flat surfaces. Life force to get it moving, as so long as it has a power source. And a sled, a zone I device with a slick underside that minimizes friction. Probably used to convey things over grass and sand. I see these are actual, like, for the most part, vehicle, like, blueprints. Like, sled, cart, wing. Like, the basic body of a vehicle. Understood. Uh oh. There we go. I'm stuck. Gotta move around. All right, so. Uh oh. Oh, it's about to explode. Boat! No! You will be missed. But he did, he did good for us. He got us all the way over here. I'll miss you, Boat. I wonder if you can get that cube as a, as a part. Oh, I thought you were an enemy, Tolan. <laughs> I have thought had a heart attack. What is all this? Ah, I see. Borok time. To play catch. Oh, over here. There we go. Yahaha! Yeah. 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 All right, now how do I get into the island? This is the more important bit. I guess I fall down here. Because there's a little bit of the island I can see on the mini map. Ooh, apple. There's a shrine over here, too. Eee! Wait a minute. This was a mistake. <laughs> I almost died. Okay. All right, so that island on the mini map is way farther down than I thought. That almost killed me. All right. Go down a little bit. And I want to switch my weapon. I don't really have anything else. Oh, uh. Hee <laughs> hee. Probably put it above the open air, shouldn't I? I'm dumb. No, I'm not. Let's go.
This isn't working. Is there another fan near here? No. Well, then I'll use one of my own. But why? But why? Why is it not working? Let's just do the thing. Want to save? Save. I'm going to investigate under the island. Where does the sin to go? Aha! I knew it. How'd you get in here? All right, where's the crystal? That crystal! Ah, I see. Let me in. I'll do the same over here, too. All right. We did it. Unfortunately. Get it down nice. Very good. It is the end of my stream time. I have no more time to go. So, we're going to end here and pick up next time, finishing this puzzle. I hope you all had a good time. I'll see y'all later.